Hello, fabulous superstar. Leo, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. And boy, is this a very special time. Right out of the gate on the third of the month, we will have this month's full moon. The full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So this is related to your work life, the overall activity as you move through your day, but your health related life as well, how well you take care of you. Overall, this energy is remarkable. I think you are going to love it. There is such a sense of healing here, given that Jupiter is speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon. And so if there has been a sense of some ongoing health related issue, well, this is either where you're feeling a whole lot better, you find the answers that you've been looking for. If it is related to work related opportunity, very possible now, they absolutely could be there. And you can see how what's happening with your work environment and the type of work you're doing that can fit into some larger career goals that you might have for your life, or you might have the support of a higher up that ends up being pivotal in helping you to secure some work-related advancement. We've got Jupiter speaking in supreme harmony with the full moon. We've got Saturn speaking in harmony as well, which does suggest whatever changes now brings with it long-term benefit. It has the potential for lasting results, moving you towards larger success, especially in the fullness of time. But we also have Mercury across the sky, and that suggests that a part of you might be indecisive, going back and forth, or maybe feeling as if you're not sure something's off, or you're intuitively feeling, whatever that is, it's fine. Always trust yourself and be yourself, as I like to say. But there may be that part of you that does have some second guessing or some doubt, and you can decide what you're going to do with it and how you're going to address it navigating forward from here. On the 17th of the month, we will have this month's new moon. The new moon takes place in the sign just before yours, a part of the sky that has to do with what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit, what's stirring within you. And we've got a gorgeous alignment with Neptune that I think you will absolutely love. So there's a heightened sense of dreaminess at this time. Uh, really good for your literal dreams in terms of making sure you're getting enough rest. Those dreams being really vivid at this time and rewarding in their own way. Uh, but also this could be the promise, the faith that there are good things for you and that you have so much more to do in this lifetime, even if all the details aren't worked out just yet. You absolutely do. We've got a harmonious connection with Uranus. That is delightful surprise that can seem like it comes out of nowhere. Very likely, uh, this can be one of those moments where you feel as if wonderful karmic blessings, if you will, show up. Uh, sometimes this can also suggest an ending that happens by surprise but ends up feeling very fortunate for you in some way as well, allowing you to begin again in some way. And so this energy of Uranus can be rather exciting and illuminating in an instant. But what we also have is Pluto opposite this new moon. That's a little more tricky. That energy can feel rather intense. If it is that you know that sometimes emotionally you need to practice extra self-care or be diligent with your self-care, this can suggest one of those moments. And so make sure you're doing that, whatever it is for you that self-care asks. Again, making sure you're getting enough rest, making sure that you have people to talk to should you need. Making sure that you have enough to eat should you need. These can go a very long way to calming some pretty intense energies now. But this can also be an inner sense of restlessness. You can't quite put your finger on, but something within you is feeling as if there's more to do. But what to do and where to go with it, that might not necessarily be as clear. There's a lot happening within you now, and you'll find ways to direct that energy. 
and where it is that closures are taking place. Understand that whether immediately or very soon, you'll realize they are fortunate closures. As part of opening you to greater happiness, greater satisfaction, and all those things that you have yet to do in this lifetime coming up ahead. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that is the very big news, of course, for you in particular, but all of us out there, Venus will officially go retrograde this month on the 23rd of the month. Venus has been in shadow since the 20th of June, is going to retrograde in your sign on the 23rd of July, will stay retrograde till the 4th of September, will go direct and stay in shadow to the 7th of October. So you've got a nice long stay of this energy. I did record a short video on this for each sign. I will link to that below and be on the lookout for special horoscopes coming up ahead over the course of this month. Having said that though, this is a massively important time for you. I do want to be straightforward. I've been saying to you that this is going to be a doozy of a Venus retrograde season. The doozy starts this month, right out of the gate. As we start the month on the second, we've got Venus square Uranus. It is the first of three connections of tension these planets are going to make over the course of the coming months ahead. Then we have, in the middle of the month, Venus connecting with Neptune. Venus stations within orb of a connection with Pluto. And so there's that sense of intensity, but disappointment, of uncertainty and illusion, but also very strong emotion stirring within you. And through it all, it might not necessarily be the easiest thing to realize what's happening in love, what you want to happen in love. You may behave in ways that are uncharacteristic. There may be fear that stirs within you instead of your normal courage. And there may be a sense that just when you know, you realize that maybe you don't. And that includes not really knowing what you want, what you're hoping for in love. Breakups that happen with Venus retrograde in your sign tend to not stay broken up, whether it's misunderstandings or your feelings changing, very possible. Just know that there is the sense now of things changing erratically, quickly, but Give yourself time to work through whatever you feel as you figure out whatever it is that you want. If you don't know what to do, it is okay to do nothing. And if surprises are showing up, observe your own reactions to them as part of understanding what moving forward is for you. For those of you open to meeting someone new, with Venus retrograde season in your sign, I would be very surprised if someone didn't pop up in some way to help you to look at where you are in love, how you feel about it. Your own feelings of what you want in love may take you by surprise. Now, at the very beginning of August, we're going to have a full moon in your opposite sign. So there is going to be someone there, if not immediately, then eventually as part of this larger season to help you to understand where you are in love and how you feel about it. But for all that, I do think those options, opportunities start right now as part of understanding your own connection to your own lovability, but also understanding where you've been, where you want to go in the context of love. That's the larger lesson now. For those of you just starting to date someone, what a remarkable time this can be. In the context of dating, it is a very special time. It's a time of surprise. It's a time of things sort of feeling like they have their own karmic trajectory. But also, yeah, there's going to be surprise and shock and some not really knowing what you want and who you should be and your expectations and if they're reasonable or not. Feeling waves of emotion and then trying to pinpoint whether or not it's reasonable. That's going to be part of your experience at this time. Now, whatever happens with this person, and it's always up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. Remember, you may come to see this time very differently, especially once Venus goes direct in September and navigating forward from there. So just be gentle with yourself, pace yourself and be yourself, as I like to say. 
whatever feels right for you to do. Of course, you want to honor that. Whether or not you navigate forward with this person or whether it is that you're all in and absolutely navigating forward with this person, your choices now will be seen in a different light up ahead. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. Now, where it is bonds are already strong, well, this can be a time where this energy isn't necessarily playing itself out in the relationship. It could be your own feelings around a given matter. Uh, it could be your own sense of your uh, desirability, if you will, that comes into focus in some way. But if it is that there have been issues between you and your partner, especially in the past, a Venus retrograde season like this very likely is going to have all of that stirring in sometimes powerful ways. Now, again, it's always up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. But whatever you decide, chances are you'll see this time very differently in the context of your relationship once we navigate a little bit further, getting into September and beyond. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I do want to say with this Venus retrograde season as well, that is the big news. I spoke about this in the year ahead video for your sign as well. Again, I'll put some links below, but having said all that, it's not the time for big changes where it comes to how you celebrate your unique beauty. That's one of the more important things when Venus retrograde season happens in your sign, but especially this Venus retrograde season. I would say July, August, September, these months in particular, if you have any kind of brand new beauty treatments planned, reschedule those. I'm going to just be blunt. Again, it's always up to you to decide what's right for you to do, but you do want to be mindful that with a Venus retrograde like this, your results really could be very unexpected, uh, all over the place, or in some way just disillusioning or disappointing. Again, I'm so sorry to say that. Now, if it's something routine that you get done every three months, uh, then yeah, stick to your schedule, stick to the people that you go to to celebrate your unique beauty who help bring that forward in a way that's right for you. But it's when you're doing the new stuff that you do want to be mindful if you feel like throwing out your entire wardrobe, this is going to be an opportunity to say, hey, do you really want to do that? <laughs> if you feel like getting a whole new wardrobe, don't throw out the old wardrobe is what I would say. But for all that, sitting with Venusian energy, an energy that ultimately is of love, of knowing that you alone are enough, you are worthy in and of yourself. It is inviting you to reach within to find a deeper beauty that you can bring forward, that you can celebrate in a way that feels right for you. And so enjoy this time. It is special. It is meaningful. And it's a time when you're going to learn about what love means to you and how you bring it forward in all kinds of ways and in every situation so that you do so with greater intent, greater focus, embodying greater love than you have before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign. For as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.